Hello everyone and welcome to the Extreme Tech channel. So for today's video guys, I'm going to show you a couple tips uh, on the route. Uh, it's going to be from route uh, to cap, a uh, couple different uh, route techniques. It's going to be involved in this video, I'm going to show you later. Uh, so this is 10 inch uh, skate 40 pipe, uh, it's a carbon spool. Uh, this is the turnover I got from a previous, uh, from, from uh, our cross shift. As you can see here, uh, the valve side uh, is a feather edge on this side of the bevel. Looks nice and clean, but when you look at the pipe side, it's land 1.8 uh, all over. So definitely you can weld the TIG with a prep like this. It's a terrible prep. I'm not gonna spend too much words. Uh, we're just simply gonna fix it. I'm gonna show you how to fix it instead of cutting all those tacks and uh, doing offset. Like, uh, we gotta show you this tack, uh, this terrible tack, uh, it's, it, sh it should be inside the bevel, not outside. Pretty much the last couple videos, uh, uh, you can really see what kind of level of uh, tradesmen I'm uh, dealing with on, uh, on my cross shift. So this is my pipe fitter uh, partner, uh, one of the best pipe fitter in, uh, in industry. Uh, he's gonna do that, uh, he's just gonna remove that land. Uh, Cubitron 6 inch, uh, this is the best way guys to do it. So you don't want to touch both sides. Uh, he's uh, really precisely doing just uh, one side, removing all that uh, land that's left 1.8 all over the place. Instead of the only on all three spots where the tags are, uh, this that's not a big deal. I'm going to do that by myself once I start welding. When I hit the tag, then I'm just gonna do that thing, uh, remove that land as well. So you gotta do that uh, kind of under angle, uh, don't touch the other side, uh, just uh, nice and gentle do one side and that's it pretty much. Looks way better than what it was, uh, what I got uh, from, uh, from the guys uh, from opposite shift. Okay, that's it now, now it's uh, pretty much ready to, ready to roll. So for the, the for this setup, uh, just uh, heavy heater 350, uh, 1.8 tungsten, and 1.8 uh, filler rod. So there's uh, there's a two two three different ways you can do it. Uh, just walk the cup on the bottom, or uh, or you can uh, freehand. If you walk the cup, uh, there's lots of room. You can even get a bigger size of a cup. Probably cup size 10 will be ideal for this uh, bevel. I'm using 8 on this one. Or you can uh, freehand, as I said, it'll be easy, especially there's not much room at the bottom uh, to walk the cup as uh, insulated 2 inch pipe. So the, the handle and the hose is just uh, hitting all that, so it's uh, really hard to roll. Uh, so instead, I'm just gonna freehand. Freehand and uh, back feed uh, technique. Just uh, fitting a rod from the bottom, uh, from the top. Uh, keep that just a constant uh, connection to that puddle. Try to move, uh, just manipulate that puddle one side to the other side. Uh, just uh, make sure to burn those edges. Make sure uh, to have uh, enough solid, good, uniform uh, root. As you control the amount that uh, you're gonna actually deposit inside that root. So you gotta feed the, just feed that rod, just uh, keep it connected constantly to that puddle. Now I just, uh, I'm just gonna switch to the walk the cup uh, as I pass that uh, clearance, that this pull uh, that's at the bottom. Uh, that was preventing me from uh, walking the cup right away from beginning. So there's always, uh, like I said, always, uh, it's nothing's ideal in a field, uh, just gotta, gotta adjust switch, uh, change techniques, uh, the gaps changing, conditions are changing, lots of obstacles, welding procedure, whatever is involved. Okay, this is the first part uh, from the bottom up to five o'clock, five, four o'clock. Okay, this is the route, that's, uh, that's a good beginning. I like uh, really nice, good, uh, solid route. 
lots of meat uh, as I said uh, there's not much worry for the suck back later on a hot pass so I removed that tack I'm just gonna continue on uh, from the top continue on to the top as always when you start uh, always grind stop starts it's just uh, easier easier to to have a nice uh, smooth blend connections that you can uh, continue on okay I'm uh, doing lay wire here now the gap uh, the gap is changing now the, the gap is uh, really tight uh, it can't fit a 1/8 uh, rod anymore uh, is uh, because it's not passing uh, I could switch to 332 uh, honestly uh, I don't have it with me I was only equipped with 1/8 so there's a technique that we're gonna apply here first of all we're gonna grind that uh, stop start and uh, i'm just gonna do keyhole technique here and uh just feed that uh, feed that rod with a keyhole technique uh, is a heat input so your amperage uh, your travel speed and your uh, your feeding so you gotta feed you gotta walk and you gotta adjust uh, your travel speed to your to the amps. Uh, keyhole is a really good technique. Uh, produce nice and good, solid, uh, good, high quality roots. Can't go wrong with a keyhole technique. Uh, the whole idea is uh, it's pretty much similar as a 6010. If you're well, the 6010 uh, keyhole technique. Uh, same idea with the TIG. As I said, you just gotta gotta move a little, a little bit faster especially on this uh, top side now i'm going from uh, three o'clock up to 12 o'clock uh, so if you wanna especially because the gravity is involved now you don't want to go too slow just gotta go speed up and uh just uh dab 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 uh, that rod and keeping that uh, keyhole okay that's it pretty much uh this side is done up to 12 o'clock now we're gonna switch to the other side uh, same idea from the bottom up to nine o'clock uh, probably freehand all the way up to the attack and then I'm gonna switch and walk the cup as you can see the note is uh, above that tack the key uh, the gap shrank a little bit so probably gonna use the keyhole technique again that's the opposite side of the of the weld of the root uh, brute looks good that's what I like it's a nice good solid root lots of meat edges are burned and no worries about so so we did the freehand on the bottom and then walk the cup okay as you can see here I'm, I'm doing side side to side technique Dipping one side, other side. I could do lay wire, but I mentioned uh, lots of times uh, the, the lay wire is um, something I don't really like to practice unless I have to. It all depends. Uh, if I'm in a in a shop in a roll, yeah, the lay wire technique is the way to go. But here on a tight spot, uh, when you got really tight gap, uh, you don't want to do lay wire technique. Uh, you can use, or there's uh, three options. You can uh, do welding techniques. That's a keyhole, or side to side, or you can just uh, simply take a grinder, open up a little bit so you got enough room, and then you can feed one eight uh, with no problem. But instead, instead of doing that, uh, you know, wasting time or whatever, I don't know depends on the mood how you are uh, not really always there's lots of patient involved in welding we all know that and uh, that's why you have to have a arsenal of skills arsenal of uh, techniques that you can use and apply uh, to your joint uh, keyhole is uh, one of them simply up on a right now I'm on around 125 amps uh, going fast uh, wiggling that uh, cup inside that bevel open with the keyhole techniques uh, you're burning those edges you open them up and then you just dub dub 
dub. So you gotta have a synchronized coordinate uh, moves on both hands with one uh, hand that you feed your rod and with the other that uh, your travel speed is okay and then you can handle those amps uh. okay now for the hot pass i did a uh, touch up with the grinder all the way around uh, just the surface size uh, empty this is a closure uh, closure well procedure so empty requires on a on a root pass after empty is done grab a buffing wheel or wire wheel just uh, run it one way one time around uh, just to make it sure nice nice and clean and this is 150 uh, or 160 amps for the for the hot pass now i'm just keeping that uh, wire it's a 18 uh, 18 uh, filler wire just keeping that wire right in the middle and just uh, stretching that puddle Hot pass is the easiest part of the of the game. Hot and uh, fill passes. Uh... Okay, this is the hot pass is done. That's it, pretty much. Uh, as I said, as long as uh, you clean, uh, you got a really nice and clean picture before you start welding hot pass. Uh, clear all all surface. From any obstacles that's inside the bevel that's gonna prevent you or cause you any issues or problems blocking the cup or so if you do a nice and proper hot pass uh shouldn't be any issues that's it uh, this is the fill to flash i speed up a little bit fill to flash uh, wire wheel now it's uh clean and it's ready for a two pass cap one side is done i didn't go too wide with uh with a uh, each bit it's uh Two well beats. Uh, that's it. That's gonna be two pass uh, for the cap, and the finish one is on the valve side. The second pass. Oh, the same uh, same idea here. It's gonna show you on this side. Just to maintain that straight line uh, on the pipe side. Make make sure it's uh, nice and. Uh, free of uh, any impurities and obstacles on your uh, on your pipe so you can uh, walk the cap even if you freehand on a cap uh, it doesn't really matter if you can walk the cap or not and that's it guys uh, pretty much uh, as I said, always uh, try to learn something new if you don't already have in your arsenal uh, more skills, uh, skill set that you can then apply on a, on a different joints, different procedures. It uh, really helps, of course, uh, reduces uh, time and or you can take a grinder and uh, help yourself, you know, with opening a, a gap. But uh, Definitely, it's uh, it's good to have, uh, good to know, good to learn, always something new. That's what we're doing. That's what I'm doing, honestly. It's always something new. Even though it's uh, just welding, there's always different materials, different procedures, uh, different spots. Pretty much always learning, you know. Even when you see someone, especially pipe fitters, you know, work with lots of lots of pipe fitters, and they all use. Uh, it's pretty much same tools and then you got the one guy that's using the same tool on co completely opposite way uh, makes it way more better and uh, makes more sense you know something like the same thing with the welding you know you see you can see welders there's lots of welders but then then you see that one welder that's really makes all difference you know that's uh, as long as we're willing to learn there's always going to be something to learn And the whole idea with the cap is uh, make it nice and good, eye appealing. Uh, but before that, you gotta do proper steps. All those passes before have to be nice and clean and clear from 
any impurities, any obstacles, clean, always make it nice and clean. Make it straight as uh, as much as possible. Of course, it's hard to uh, stay focused uh, and uh, have that uh, much concentration, especially on a li in a live unit on a big pipes. But you you do your best. You put some pride in your work, and people are gonna recognize that. And you're gonna that's how you're gonna create a name for yourself. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, thank you very much for all your support so far, and um, see you guys in the next one. Take care and play safe. See ya.